Morning test subject, you have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. accepted into the human emergency response team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Please press the button to accept the terms. Thank you for volunteering. The door will open in 3, 2, 1. Test subjects may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. You will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations and as such will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. Performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met.
and stop. Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. Okay, what do we have here? The next test may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. So already, you are permitted to open your eyes. Before starting with the next test chamber, we would like to remind you that, so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. Candidate, you have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck.
behalf of the Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. There. Try that. Good. That faith plate is now properly calibrated. So that's why there are holes in the ceiling.
on, all aerial fate plates should be configured correctly. I promise. Well done, candidate. You are nearing the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team.
As a reminder, your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science Heart Light Bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin.
You did it! I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down, after all. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me! Dark in here, isn't it? The checkpoint is right there. Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter? There it is. Hmm. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? that did the trick. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Oh, wait. You, uh, can't go that way. Find a way around. Not everyone gets this position, you know. You should be proud. Cleaning up after humans that don't exist anymore. All right then, up we go. 